Okay, this video, there's something I've been really curious about, and uh, I don't, I don't find a lot of reading on it or what to do in case of a disaster or what happens. But what I want to know is what happens when one of these nodes in this landscape open stack environment, what happens when one of them croaks? Uh, what do we do? So we're going to find out together. I really don't know what's going to happen, but we're going to try to pick a node that uh, has you know, a little bit less stuff on it, I guess you could say. We'll take one of the compute nodes uh, and kill it, and let's see what happens. Uh, and I might go so far as to pull it out of mass. Uh, I don't know that I need to do that to recommission one, but let's let's go down this road and see where it goes. Okay, so let's pick a node to kill. Um, so, OpenStack dashboard. These are the, if you go into hypervisors, uh, these are the compute nodes. So I would guess that they are probably the less critical nodes, and now that we have our cheat sheet, uh, you can kind of tell uh, you don't probably don't want to kill this one because that's where pretty much everything and all the LXC containers are running. Uh, but if we go back, pick one of these compute nodes. Let's just pick on this guy, one DC seventy nine hundred. Uh, he's got this stuff running on him now. How do we know what one twenty five and one twenty six are? Well, you can kind of backstep through the juju GUIs and and things. So that node. So let's go, and you know all of your compute compute nodes are going to be in your internal Juju environment, uh, and you can go in here the machines tab, and they will give you the names of what these actually are: Nova Compute Two, Nova Compute One, Zero, and so forth. So if you come over here. There's probably a better way to do that, but go down to Nova Compute, and let's just list the units here. So we've got Nova Compute Zero. He's on 155, and there's his name. So Nova Compute One, there's his name. Two, there's his name, and three. Three is this machine, the one that we went looking for. So that kind of shows you how to step backwards and figure out what's on it. So let's go back to machines. We're we're looking at Nova Compute Three. So he's got a RabbitMQ server and an, an NTP master running on him. So if he goes away, hmm, not sure what's going to happen. Uh, he's got Sender and the OpenStack dashboard, so we wouldn't be able to get into this GUI or the, the OpenStack GUI anymore. Uh, he's got one of the Ceph uh, pieces, the gateway running on him. He's got Keystone, that probably wouldn't be good either. But most of this is supposed to be redundant. My SQL is running on that one. So we, if you have a disaster, you're never going to know, right? So let's take uh, Nova Compute 3. Let's kill it. Uh, and he is 156. So all I'm going to do is shut him down. Let's... Uh, And I'm actually going to halt the hardware. Okay, we'll give him a second to come down and we'll see what happens. Okay, so it's been about five minutes since we killed the node. I've already tried to ping it, but you can see he's dead can't reach him he's down so let's jump over to landscape landscape has an alert right here let's click on alerts three computers haven't been connect contact sorry contacted landscape within the last five minutes uh, that would probably be true and 
here they are, the physical node and his two containers on his on your cheat sheet. Take a look. There they are, those two containers. They're down. So landscape knows about it. So that's good. Let's see what the OpenStack dashboard has to say about it. I would expect him not to know. So we have instances running. Uh, I can check a couple of them. Let's just see if they are functioning correctly now that one node's down. This is all new to me, so we're doing this together here. Okay, so this node appears to be okay without that but this VM appears to be okay without that node running so that's good how about this one looks good too. So as far as the VMs go, everything looks good. Nobody was impacted. Let's take a look at Juju and see if he's complaining about any of his services being down. Because these will go red pretty quick. So you remember we saw In machines that that node 4 or node 3 rather had RabbitMQ and NTP master on it doesn't look like they've been impacted and they shouldn't be because I mean the, this is supposed to be a redundant environment right they're supposed to be spread across containers in a way that you can lose some nodes now how many you can lose not sure but uh, we seem to be surviving with one down just fine. Okay. So, one compute node going down, no problems. I'm going to go ahead and bring it back up. Uh, let's, for fun, Let's see if we can bring him up with either wake. You can do from your mass box, you can do and then his WWN. If you point it to ETH1, you can shoot a magic packet and he should wake up. We'll see if it works. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. I'll sit here and ping him for a second. There we go, he's back. So he's coming up. So let's uh let's wait a couple minutes and see because landscape takes five minutes to catch up. I'm gonna pause it. Okay, so it's been a couple minutes, the node's pinging, but let's check landscape. You can see the errors have gone. So the node's back up. Let's see. Oh, so since there's no alerts you can't see him. Let's uh
this is just how to configure the alerts. Okay, uh, so we successfully took one node down and brought it back up, got a compute node, and nothing seemed to happen. So it was a pretty uneventful video, but you could see it is redundant. You can take at least one node down. Uh, we're probably going to get a little more aggressive after this one. Uh, maybe take a couple nodes down, see what happens, Let's take the whole thing down, see if we can get it back up. Uh, that's all for this one. Uh, again, uneventful. We'll see if we can get more interesting. Thanks.